The Boston Celtics were able to take care of business at home as they took down the Milwaukee Bucks with a 122 to 113 win while in overtime. Now, despite the Celtics being stagnant in the first half, they turned things around in the third quarter in large part to Dennis Schroeder, who helped ignite the team with his 38 point performance and propel them to the win. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I just try to, you know, get better day by day. Don't think about my hair too much and uh, just play basketball. My teammates doing a great job, you know, um, telling me just to go, don't think about nothing, just play. And uh, coaches as well, front office. So feel very comf uh, confident right now, comfortable, and um, you know, uh, looking forward to uh, what's, what's, whatever comes next. Yeah, he's finding his way. Uh, he's he's brought his bench role to the starting lineup. Uh, you know, he's he's been very aggressive. We like some of the matchups he had early. Uh, he got going, but we continue to let those guys know the mismatches and always for yourself. And we felt he was penetrating and, and making nice passes. Um, and so he did a little bit of both. But then he got hot late, and we kind of rode his rode his hand there. He's an aggressive guy. He can do both, uh, and he had a great night tonight, which we needed. You know, down the line, everybody made plays at, at a certain point in the game, um, you know, when we needed it. Whether it was myself, Dennis, Rob, Al, you know, the guys off the bench, uh, Jay Rich. Uh, this was just a good team win. Now the Celtics will head out on the road as they face off against the Cleveland Cavaliers in the second night of a back-to-back. -back. And the game plan for that, well, Jason Tatum was joking post-game, but he said the biggest thing, we need to take care of Taco Fall and beat him up and down the court.